Hello, my name is Mark Taylor. I'm the creator and host of the Education on Fire podcast network and the Primary Music on Fire membership site, which is supporting primary teachers to deliver music and experiment with music in their schools. I've been a professional musician now for about 25 years and one of the questions that we get asked quite a lot is how do I play the instruments of my percussion trolley? Um, and so what I thought I'd do is I'd give a series of, of, of instructional videos, ideas exactly what it is that you can do, but I thought I'd start with a symbol. A symbol, something that we've all seen and heard and played probably many times before. But my question is, what does a symbol sound like? What's it already sounding like in your head before I've even played anything? And it's that idea of exactly what it is that any particular instrument we think sounds like and how do we create the sound on it. So I'm just going to give you a few things about what I think a symbol sounds like and I want you to think about how actually that reflects on what you thought it was going to sound like when I first mentioned it. So here we go, the symbol. So I think that hopefully gives you some ideas of the fact that a symbol sounds like really anything that you want it to sound like with the imagination that you have and what you're trying to achieve. So 
in that short demonstration we had some things that were rhythmical. Has it got a pulse? Has it got something you're accompanying? Is it purely a sound effect? I mean, I know as a professional musician, composers often come up and they say, right, okay, so we need it to sound like this. Not that we want a bigger symbol, smaller symbol, or whatever the type, different types of instruments are. More, what's the sound that we want to be able to create? What is it that I'm trying to support them to envisage and actually come together and then try and replicate that? And so I'll just use the variety of different beaters. We've got a normal snare drum stick, wooden stick there. Some soft sticks that many schools will have just lying around in either in a, in a cupboard or, or, or in your percussion trolley as well couple of metal beaters. These are particularly triangle beaters, but you can use um, any kind of implement which is metal. And that's the reason also just used some 10 P pieces, any, any coins, anything which is that you can use just to create that different sound. So something metallic on obviously a metal instrument is going to sound very different to something that's very soft. One of the things that I like a lot and often have in sort of ethereal kind of sound and spacey kind of sounds is the rubber ball on a stick, which just gives you that sort of fantastic kind of experimentation kind of feel. And then you may or may not have a bow lying around from a different instrument, or this is one that I found in a, in a, in a school cupboard that I was able to use, and I use it on all sorts of, um, especially in music theatre, when they're just trying to create that kind of atmospheric idea. So the whole point of this really is to think, yes, we want to learn how to play these instruments. And yes, there are certain things that we want to be able to do in terms of having coordination, maybe to move our hands in a different time. And we'll talk about that a little bit as well, about some of the rhythms that we can do to help support that. But it's really about what am I trying to achieve? What is it I'm trying to get together? Is it a composition? What sort of effect is it that we're trying to do? What do we have around us? What does a symbol sound like in my school? It might sound slightly different, it might be bigger, it might be smaller. But what other instruments can we hit with it? What type of beaters can we hit? What other different types of sounds can we put together? And then just experiment. Have fun with it. See what you can come up with. And this can start at really young ages. Just experimenting. So as you start to get older, you want to put more complex music and things together. They've already understand. They've already got it in their head exactly what it is that they can achieve by the sorts of things that they've been playing from before. So I hope like this, we're going to have a whole series of these on different instruments that you find in your percussion trolley. But I thought this symbol was a really good one to start with to get us thinking in that kind of way. Um, if you want to find out more about us, go to educationonfire.com forward slash primary hyphen music and there you can sign up and you can get some free rhythm games that you can do or if you want to find out more specifically about the membership to join you can go to educationonfire.com forward slash membership. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to the next one.